Hello Explorers and welcome back to another video on AWE. If you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe. Anyway, in this video we're exploring a beautiful chateau known as Assassin's Creed. This beautiful building was built in the 18th century in France. It sits in the centre of a large ancient estate. We visited this in 2020 and what a beautiful day it was. The chateau was built by a distinguished family which owned much of the land in France. Historic accounts indicate they would have been very wealthy and very important since records begin. In the early days they were lords, knights and aldermen. Subsequently there were also more recent military figures. These included regiment, captain and lieutenant. In fact most of the family entered the army service earning awards and medals. One member of the family was even secretary to the king. This was their grand home. The chateau stands in the heart of once grand gardens, originally with fountains. The estate also included a farm and a block and a stable block next to the chateau. The house has entry within historic monuments register. But the bizarre thing is, why is this place abandoned? The family still lives on today. Correspondingly, it's a mystery why the chateau lies empty, neglected. Some say the inheritance fees was just so high, so they could not claim the chateau. Perhaps the restoration fees prevented an insurable amount. It is impossible that the maintenance cost was simply deemed too high. Whatever the reason, the family chose to live elsewhere. Enjoy the video. Love to you all, stay safe. So we finally arrived. An early morning start and what a freezing morning it was. Visiting this beautiful place situated in France. Try and visualise when this place was in its glory. Beautiful painted up. Kids and family playing in the garden. Now it sits as a complete ghost house. With all contents remaining inside. So I'm not sure what the bell would have been for back then. Was it a chain? So it would have been a, maybe the servants coming out ringing the bell in the morning. It still works. So, I'm all PPE'd up, face mask on, ready to rumble. So literally we'd be coming through. Obviously we didn't come through the front door. But this would be like, obviously, not the original door of course I'd imagine, but coming through the front door. There's a little back, little set of stairs there. I don't know where they go actually. So at some point it looks like someone has started coming in to try and renovate to save the ceilings. I mean look at it. See how long their macros have been there because there's no ceiling around anymore for them to hold up. So 
And that, this was before like uh, computers and stuff, you'd have your little ink wells. And people would like to hand write stuff in letters and... <sighs> Don't you always look a bit creepy, these old pictures, but no. Let's clean their faces up a little bit. Uh, maybe a family that once lived here. See, it's just going to be an incredible house. It's just such a shame about some of this. All these books, you can see how damaged they are just by the shelves. And if you can hear a little high pitched noise now and again, it's my trainer. Um, I've got the Nike Air Maxes on. My boots got soaked. Didn't really want to wear these trainers, but I've pierced a hole somewhere in the air bubble. Incredible guys. A place like this stands still. It's incredible. It really is. A little bathroom. It's nice if you can, back in the day, you'd swing a toilet out. Well, it's not a toilet B day, but. So this chateau was built in the 18th century. Although some writing and construction say that it was the 17th century. However, this would have been impossible as the land where it was built on did not yet belong at the time to the family who built the castle. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a mystery. There's just so many books going to waste. And every room just holds someone's memories. Just trying to think the last person that sat in this bed. A little, it looks like a little like a child's chair. So I'm not sure why it's called the Assassin's Castle. So they took pride in their gardens as well. They had obviously features, water fountains. Look at it all. Oh, that's a weird little bath. Look at that. Definitely children's room. There's a little Mickey and Pluto tower holder. I'm not sure how this is, but there were six squire, knights, lords. There's a very wealthy family. This. So the ancient family who owned this was a noble origin, and they owned many lands of France. Until the 20th century, many of its members will join the French army and would decorate the 16th Legion of Honour across the war. Finally, how wealthy and how popular this family would have been. It's a shame some of the rooms are not as tidy there. Look at the ceilings, you can see the mould is in here. This is why I've got my respirator on, guys. There's loads more books, so many personal items. Books called Tip of the Tap. <laughs> it's a little old wood case. Look at that. Lovely old boxes. old phones. I bet gets get a load of kids now to ring the number on these. They wouldn't know how to use it. You see that the doors, everything's just battling. 
And looking back here, you could just see that sea and the way it's just looks like it's about to go any time. It's just a big rug, just literally rolled up and thrown on the floor. You can imagine like a beautiful summer's day with these shutters open, looking over there to the outer buildings. as if these walls could speak. So basically what I've just done is I've come through the front door there, we've gone up the side steps, looking down, look at this gorgeous staircase. So the other so way if you imagine come through coming through here on the front door, these steps, up the stairs, we would have literally and if you didn't let just come stairs, out those bedrooms down here down towards the bedrooms where I've just come out. So this time we're going to take, we're going to take a, a right at the top of the right stairs, the top of the stairs. heading through these beautiful oak doors. Just look at the size. Even this little room, it's just a passageway through. The windows are floor the ceiling there. The walls could talk. The doors. They all have locks and keys as well. Look how the side of the doors are. Look at this. As I walk into this room, as you can see, it's probably a child's room or I don't know, a stay over room. I'm not sure. The twin beds. Look at this. This is an old picture outside the house with a maid pictures. with the lady of the house and their child. This Love seeing these old black and white photos. That, There's another there with a child playing in the grounds, probably with his father. All the original pictures. It's amazing to see these. I'm trying to turn the light down a little bit. Just love the old black and white pictures. And you can see the property. property there sitting in the background of that picture. So this looks like the maid, obviously, that would have been here looking after the family, as I said. Beautiful. <laughs> the two cool kids. <laughs> Look like they had twins at some point as well. This is so sad though to think. And when you see some of these true. memories here, like this is one of the rooms where this guy is sitting in, as he's got older. I'd we'll love to find, find where this room is in the house now, but the there is a lot of furniture that's obviously not with there anymore fireplace. in these pictures, but the maybe we can try and work out the room. Look how smartly proofs. everyone's dressed as well when people took pride in themselves in suits. Absolutely amazing to see this. So you think a lot of these people are just, so gone just think, all along a lot of these old pictures and people have passed on. I wonder if this key was to fit this door. I'm just trying to envisionize when the last time the key was turned and that how it fits. <laughs> One of the original doors. When did the key last Hawkins. lock that door? Who knows? That's it amazing. And who was the last hand to touch that key? These are little factors and things I think about when I'm exploring. Look at all the stuff yeah, just completely left behind. I had no idea what this was at first. The old sewing machine. As you can see, it's a very old, maybe 70s. <laughs> Never seen one like that in a tin case. Machine. So these this bee is days. really uh, quite a yeah. so the swung round. Awesome thing I see in chateaus, the way the bee day folds so out. Use your bee day. You can just push your wash your bottom away. before you go to bed. So maybe you go off the toilet, then you come back and wash your bottom and you Anyone can read wash that. your hands and brush your teeth before you go to bed. In French. So if you can, can translate, translate like this, that, please actually. let me know what it says. I think these duvets remind me like of a sleeping bag sort of material. So returning the note back to the cupboard. I'm just so in love with this room. I love the flooring, like the little hexagon shapes or the octagon. Is it hexagon, octagon? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. Look at the way they used to put like the floral wallpaper in the drawers and stuff. It's quite a common thing I've seen in a lot of old places. Just wonder how old this child is now sitting on the front steps of this place. I love seeing these old memories. I always try and leave every room exactly how I found it. It's part of exploring, 
And just to show you as well how high these doors are, I'm nearly, I'm just over six foot with my boots and the doors are at least probably seven, uh, maybe eight feet. So maybe this was the room of the picture, I'm not sure, because it was the fireplace and the door behind him. So you can see a lot of the stuff's been obviously taken out of this place. Um, but there's a lot of rooms with still a lot of memories in them. And I'm still shocked that the families never came to take them. Wow. Another gorgeous room, the rug. And look at this beautiful pram. Who wants to put a date on that? Is that Victorian? Or is it older? I don't know. Can you imagine pushing your baby around in that land with the chrome spoked wheels, the fresh coloured blue. And look at the leather straps that causes the suspension that helps it rock. Nothing like your prams today. <laughs> And to be honest, to buy something like that would cost fa like expensive now to buy stuff like that. Can you imagine the radio playing some tunes? Family, the open fire going. Table and chairs maybe in here. People talking and families mixing together. It feels like a thing of the past now, doesn't it? To spend time with your loved ones and... So excuse the voiceover, but there's so much squeaking going on with my trainer. I'm not sure what this is. Can anyone tell me? Is it something where the um, when they do the shooting, so it fires the discus up, so you can uh, shoot them? I'm pretty certain that's what I would say it was. But um, let me know if not. I'm really puzzled why the two chairs are sitting round that uh, item. Imagine the colours and the vibrant look of this rug, all cleaned. And restored. It's probably a Persian rug, who knows? The quality and expense in this place, the parquet flooring. There's just so much stuff literally left here. And it's what I seem to find on every trip I go on. More places with stuff. When's it gonna end? It's a shame France have so high tax on these places. The beautiful picture there on the horseback. I don't know what this is, but it looks like some kind of measuring device. If you let me know, put it in the links below, let me know. So as I leave this room, the creaking of the doors. As you pull it towards you, it's like that really old... <laughs> Sorry for the really poor sound effects look at this terracotta i believe it's terracotta flooring and you imagine how cold it was so you'd need a fire on in all the rooms to heat this place the amount of stuff that was burnt just to keep this place warm and the mold here is deteriorating this place try and picture a family sitting there the little baby in the high chair around the table awaiting breakfast dinner or lunch Now, I don't know if this has obviously been set up by another explorer. Who knows? But we find how we found this place, except the little cheeky sticker there I put on the bowl. <laughs> Look at it, though. But it does make you wonder as well. Has it been set up? Or was it left like this? Who knows? And the draft's board there. You think before TVs and entertainments, PlayStations and all that, it, it was about games of chess and family time. The children's bibs. Straight into the kitchen. Can you imagine the kitchen you could fit in this room? Now, would you go modern, or would you keep it to a, an old style kitchen? A 
if she doesn't look a bit creepy. <laughs> It's crazy, guys. The girls literally think, you know, there's still food in the cupboards. Still all these drinks. And when the last time these were popped and anything was drunk out of them, God, there's going like. I can't actually see a date on them. The water probably had a date. 2004. Just everything's there waiting to be used. I just like all these little simple style cupboards. See just outside there, there's a little car. What was that all in? This is like the typical man cave probably back in the day. <laughs> all about the sexist thing, the woman's cave, you know. We really like storing stuff as well. <laughs> I don't know where these old stairs go. Literally staring is completely rotten. Oh, I feel it all going underneath me. These do not feel safe. <sighs> Definitely like reading their magazines. 1992. 1980. 1983, the year I was born. Do you know what I'm thinking? This could be where the um, servants lived. This book's 1898. We're in France, you know. It's just crazy to think that Look at these old pictures. That's one thing we don't do a lot of today either. We don't take a lot of pictures and print them out anymore. They're stored on our mobile and phone devices. Oh, no. Unused shotgun shells. These are little bulbarians, they fire out at high speed at you. Oh, look at that. Guys, I love that. Look at the old wheelbarrow. That's so nice. It's got a modern car there. Yeah. Oh, she got a little kid's toy bit. Little push along train. Caravan. I think every kid had a cash register when I was a kid. I'm not sure what this is. That's, that's a TV remote, look at it. Look at this, it's incredible.
by the way before I guys. Make sure you like that, hit that like button please. Help a brother out. So, walking into the first bedroom, the wow, it just hits you. You think these stone tiles were laid on wooden structured floors. You think the weight of the flooring. I'm not sure if I'm liking this very vibrant red, but look at the bathtub. You've actually got like a seat in there. Makes you want to get in, but you can see the mice droppings everywhere. So looking back in here, the wallpaper, the rugs, the books. Just imagine being in this place and the cross there above the bed. It's a very low double bed as well. Guys, that door literally just shut on me. Literally door just shut. Jugs, I believe the jugs for like warm water, I think. Take it to the bathroom, bedroom. It's just an incredible room though. Every room is such beauty. And there's so many things people had to rely on years ago, like bringing the hot water to the room. You know when this building was built as well, as you know, there was no electricity. And, uh, such a shame. The water's literally just damaging this place. that went into these places. Little shoe holders. I really like this room. <laughs> thousands and thousands of books. Every day I go exploring, I come across so much history written and left to literally just decay away. Look at some of these. Some more French comics.
I've done all this like wallpaper. I see this quite a lot in French chateaus. A little wholesome car. Wow, guys, this place is literally incredible. So it's like two, obviously, you've got your two beds. A little type right there. Looks like some comics there or. Or desk line. Look at this. This is military. I think Carti, I think it's menu. As if you can work that right out. If you want to screenshot that and try and work it out. Your little comics. <laughs> little tin tin. Some of these are like 1963, when my dad was born. No, 63. Wow. About 57 year old. It's like Wild West action figures there. Some nappies. I think that's like that. That old tower compiler, I think. Amazing. So we see that picture frames that never got pictures. Oh, what are these called? Obviously you'd get changed behind them. I'm trying to think what they're called. Just a blind? I don't know. I'm sure there's a posh word for that. Look at this. What I always try and think about as well is the hand that tapped this and the, the letter this last writ or what it last wrote. You see the keys are literally just stuck down there like that. Oh. oh look at this chest. Paris. And a little letter in there. Now look at this. How everything works. Pulls down, it pulls this whole drawer up for you to write on. Oh, when was the last time they were opened? What are these are? They're like little test tubes. Piment douce or something. Sorry, I know you laugh at my French. It's not the best. Yeah. Playing the windows, which you're probably just going to fall out soon. See the ceilings which she collapsed down there. Wow. Look at that. There's a whole spear. Sky electric cars, man. <laughs> incredible. Really incredible. I think they got like. Look this plastic. It feels like little metal bodies. Little train. I'm sure there's like a really old little photo up there, look. It's just so much stuff. It's really old letters, really nice to sit there and read through all. sort of case but it probably isn't VN Just 
stacks of history up here. I'm sure some people say junk, but there's a lot of history up here. I'm a bit weary of this floor, guys. God, these are awful, these masks, trying to breathe. someone to find it one day and look after it. I'd love to go down there but I'm not because the flooring is literally falling through there. I don't know where this goes. It's like a maze this place. The old road for the handle. It's a little random bathroom. I look at the old scales. I love these type of scales. Electric toothbrush. As I continue the journey again. More magazines. I did one thing, there's no juice of every space in this place. Okay. So that's where the bedrooms were. Remember that when I first started? Yeah, we're holding the ceiling up. So there's the main front door. I think all the doors he's fit, once fitted. A lot of French, as I said, made their own wine. I think they're like a distiller, is it? Distill. All the tops here. Corks. There's the old oil tank there. Central heating, I believe. Down in the fire roar and the drinks, everyone. This is amazing. Look at it. An incredible place. Actually, I think they're actually wall lights. Just notice this, look. How old are they? The old fencing. I've never ever seen lights like this. 
Well, they've been converted to lights over the years. What were they used for before? The fuse you can see up there, I can't. There must have been something else. Guys and girls, if you know what these are, please let me know. It's like a shield here or something. No shield. Doesn't deserve to. Oh, that's better. I've seen a few of these in the past, the old ashtrays. Look at this. Loving this sink. These are like fossils, eh? This door. Shame we've just cut it off the hinges. Yeah. This place is incredible. I really like this place. Mate? Look at this beautiful side table. Oh, it's like a big chest. I see there's nothing in there, but how beautiful is that chest? You see how long the furniture's been left? Oh, I don't know what that is. Is that an old press? Oh no, it's just for putting the corks. Look at that. That's a corker. If that's the actual name of it, I'm not sure, but... Look at that. <laughs> and then she push your cork on your bottle. <laughs> wow. Just love these old boxes. What a beautiful place. You see that old cobwebs. These doors and all that are proper. I know it is a castle, but they're proper old castle doors. So Explorer is standing back outside the chateau. So reading up the history in this place, it would have had prestige gardens. Now look at it. Spro in the north. Here he is. You can do a little dance. How's it, how's it go? <laughs> yeah, river sport. Little child's bike. I was quite impressed with it still. Even though I know a lot of it's probably changed, but it's a shame though that. Oh, is it? Do you reckon it'd been a servant's bit or? Oh no. You've got your table tennis there. There's a little chalkboard in it on the wall. Fancy a game of Kroger? Um, what's it called again? Crochet. Oh, crochet. Crochet, that's the one. <laughs> I thought. A lot of sports stuff that I've got to Yeah, you can see there's a lot of stuff in it. Another little child's wheelbarrow. Footballs. What's up, explorers? So, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Sorry for the sudden ending, but believe it or not, um, a guy turned up with many dogs and <laughs> we literally just went round the side, over the wall, and got out of there as quick as we could. It was such a beautiful explore. This place needs saving. I just think that the French should maybe lower this tax thing so a lot of these chateaus can be saved if they've been given through inheritance because this is like French history here, literally dissolving away every day. And um, what a beautiful place. Remember guys, if you love what I do, check out a lot of um, my other videos, I do a lot of chateaus. Um, 
but as I said, love to you all, everyone who supported AWE. If you haven't had a notification for this channel, please switch your uh, unsubscribe and resubscribe to my channel because a lot of people are not getting notifications, which I'm not sure why. But yeah, guys, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and we also have a PO box if you wish to send us anything and we will open it on a live chat. As I said, love to you all. Keep your loved ones safe. And I'll see you soon on the next adventure. Love to you all.